Good afternoon, folks from Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is Joy here, your uh, favorite fragrance reviewer. The absolute best. Best of the best of the best. That's right. I talk a lot. I do a detailed review all the time. And people really watch it, which is really surprising. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. I love you all. I know you guys love me too. But then, yeah, just thought like, eh, try to be a bit stupid. All right. So... <laughs> We're gonna do one fragrance which is not expected by many i know people are looking for the recent ones like bro talk about aventus bro talk about invictus aqua i will and i i need some time i don't want to do it in a rush even if i do a first impression i want to see what it gives me what they give me some more all right because those are the fragrances i really really like all right and they are really solid fragrances i want to get every single thing right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this fragrance Yatman Blue from the house of Maraja. I don't know how you say that. Maraja. Maraja. Because I always have a tough time. And it's from, house of, uh, from Spain. So I have to talk about this for a few reasons. First of all, a few days ago, I know, few, not a few days, a few weeks ago, I have done Yatman Red. You have, must have seen my review. And I said this is uh, one of the stuff that I really liked. You know, one of the fragrances I really liked. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, you can check out that review on my channel. So I really like that bottle. So few reasons why I got decided to get this bottle. First of all, it was so darn cheap. All right, it's it's more like your ten dollars, fifteen dollars tops. And then the second reason is the bottle. I catching bottle. I really love these bottles. They remind me of a, you know, traffic light, barber shop. Very very nothing serious. And I, I like to keep some casual bottles with me, right? And I really believe uh, this one needs to be talked about. I have seen the reviews on YouTube. Not that many uh, that really got me, in, like, gave me all the information that I was looking for. So I decided I buy it and I review it. And as you can see, fair bit of juice went down. And you will notice another thing: in the stem, there is some sort of particles, you know, stuck. And there's something in the bottle as well. So it was initially from the bottle. Uh, it's okay. It giving me that vintage look. <laughs> so yeah. So these are my reasons to review it. I really want to talk about this. All right, and I'll try to make it. I think it's gonna be shorter than usual all right so this baby came out in 2001 and all these days i've been thinking this is the copy of Daniel desire blue wrong this is the reason Daniel desire blue was made and even the yatman red was the reason Daniel desire was meant desire red was built so based on their smell and concept Daniel copied the idea that's what i feel maybe i could be wrong but these are the original babies all right so let me show you the box first of all it's very eye-catching sort of a turquoise and a bit darker blue and very nice it looks very very eye-catching bottom you get your information back is a little bit more information the price sticker is on top nothing much it's made in spain this 100 ml bottle and i haven't seen a smaller bottle i think they come only in one shape one size if there are more bottle sizes please do let me know all right so the concentration is edt so uh, this fragrance, all right, as I told you, 2001, right? The bottle again, I really like the bottle design. Reminds me of water, ocean. If you're living uh, for a holiday, you're living in some sort of motels, not very high class motels, like one of those private motels, mid range, and they have their own swimming pool, lazy Sundays. You have your uh, breakfast, bean, eggs, bacon, and by the pool, you're hanging out and you see the water, the reflection of sun inside the water, reminds me of that right very eye-catching engraved information bit bottom yeah the back is blue i wanted this for the bottle itself i must admit it and i love the smell the cap and this part all are plastic you can hear right and it's attached i like this part that reminds me of a sail of a boat and it opens up like a zippo lighter the sprayer is all right nothing mind-blowing you'll see right gives a small small mist and it's very very aromatic scent all right so let me tell you the notes in this, then I'll talk about the good and the bad, and uh, is it worth your money, right? So the notes according to Fragrantica, they have uh, bergamot, lemon, green apple, melon, carnation, jasmine, freesia, uh, green notes, sandalwood, cedar, almond, and leather. So these are the notes they gave, and I'm gonna tell you what I got. So I have this in the tissue for some time, all right? So the dry down is about like half an hour. So I'm getting the meat and the sort of like the end notes quite at the same time. So it's not the let's talk about the good style. I love the presentation. I'll give this 8 out of 10 presentation wise. All right. The smell wise, it's fantastic. I love the smell over 
the Yatman Red, which I already like. So you can tell the smell of it is nice, right? So how does it stand? Uh, how does it compare to Daniel Desire Blue? That's the one question many people ask me. The smell of this is very, very similar to that one. But that one, the note is fruity, more like a lychee with a citrus top. This one is citrus mixed with that fruity, but the fruit is more like that green apple dimension, but more of melon, right? It's more like a winter melon, that sort of opening. Very pleasant, very, very beautiful opening, bright opening. Let me see what I got, right? Opening top note. Let's go two sprays. And it's very, very watery. I don't know for some reason because of the bottle or whatnot. Right up, if you spray, when you put your nose in within seconds, you're gonna get all you're gonna get is alcohol. That's it. No, no, no need to say, uh, oh, it smells beautiful from right top. No, you get that alcohol. So <laughs> let the alcohol disappear. Okay, now I'm starting to get the beautiful, beautiful opening. Trust me, guys, you know, forget about the price tag, forget about the house. If you just like this kind of fragrances, like sweet, aromatic, fruity, floral, and uh, aquatic, all in the same. If you like Azaros Chrome, you're going to like this stuff. Oh, this, this smells even more fantastic than Azaros Chrome and more royal. All right. I'll talk about the performance in a bit, but this one does remind me of Azaros Chrome Intense because of the performance. <laughs> Azaros Chrome Intense, the original chrome really lasts and really is floral, metallic. This one doesn't have the metallic tone. It's very, very simple. But Azaros Chrome lasts a long time. The Legend one, uh, not the Legend, Azaros Chrome Intense that smells like this doesn't last even for one hour, which is the case with this, all right? So yeah, good things, affordable. Smells very, very nice and fresh. And the mid notes is gonna go towards the floral side. It's all florals, which gives me the idea. Men and women both can wear this alike, all right? It's loved by all, it's safe, for the office indoor usage is perfect you're not going to offend anybody wearing this but caution is don't apply too much even though this is a very light not long lasting but this one can be choking <laughs> even in the hot summer day it, it might choke you because the dry down is florals and you don't want so much floral this is classified as an aromatic fougere luckily there's no lavender in this if there was you would be choking right the red one i believe has some sort of lavender but this one doesn't have the lavender. If the florals are uh, jasmine, freesia, freesia I never smelled, so I can tell the jasmine is there. And then uh, carnation, the florals, it's a mix of florals basically. Yeah, I get the floral side, it's a white florals, all right? So yeah, up top, your uh, aquatics, citrus, fruity. Center, middle, you're gonna get the floral, white floral, clean, and you get that little bit soapy feel, I get the soapy. You know, moment you take out your fresh laundry and you sniff it, yeah. It, it does have that so it's very clean fresh uh, non-offensive non-complicated sort of a scent all right let me show you the bottle all right so this fragrance uh, it does have does represent that sort of a clean uh, fresh aquatics for summer days strictly for summer if you spray this in a winter time you're not gonna even if you bathe in it no one's gonna notice for spring however you know this one will smell really really nice I believe in it you know, imagine the floral bouquets and ladies are carrying, buying flowers. This will be very pleasant to be around. You're not going to be like douchebag if, as a guy if you're wearing this. So the bad things doesn't last. It doesn't last even for an hour only, right? Whatever remains after the dry down in the basic, it's more like a woodsy sort of a green, very, very dry down, but nothing, no leather or any of those heavy cedar, no, nah, none of that. So Daniel Desire Blue has the same problem. Smells very nice, but doesn't last. But I like this because this is for indoor usage. It's not something I'll be wearing outside. Even if I carry a decanter, the decanter would finish in the whole day. Denimal decanter would finish the whole day. All right. So yeah, but since it's so cheap, you can reapply. You can you can spray liberally inside the house. All right. For casual, school, office, I think this will suit perfectly. If you're going shopping, going bowling. If you're going roller skating, you know, for those scenarios, very nice. In a close encounter, you're not going to be like, what is this guy wearing? You know, what is this guy all about? You palm, palm, no. This is a very non-complicated summer scent. Is it worthy of your collection? If you have so many aquatics and fresh and floral, you don't need this. Honestly speaking, you don't need this. Out of these two, this one is a performer. This one is a bit more uh, sort of amber. 
This one is very, very more potent, more floral, but it's more prominent. It lasts twice as much as this, all right? So if you have this, just for collection, you can get it because they look so nice together. And that's it. Sorry about the choppers. They are they're making sure the area is secured, all right? Because important people live here. Hollywood Boulevard and stuff, right? So yeah, it's non-expensive, non-complicated. Anyone can wear it and you can give it as a gift. That's what I feel. It's, it's just a casual gift. You can give it to anyone, right? So yes, Yakman Blue, longevity, really poor. I would give it three out of 10. Uh, projection, when you spray it at first, it comes very, very, very fast, close to your skin. Hey, hey, hi. I'm a, I'm, I'm a very uh, sensitive guy. Yes, but not in a very... Uh, I don't know I don't want to say anything bad word but it's it, 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 it's not projection beast to say all right I'll give this five out of ten for projection for the smell however I love the smell I'll give this nine out of ten I love the smell of this this is smell wise I love this over the yacht man red compliments wise you're gonna get compliments with this if you are uh, around people who are a bit educated and have good taste and they're not looking for something like a leather to impress them or booziness to impress them. Yep, you're gonna pick up. You're not gonna pick up anything bad from it. So that's what I'm trying to say. So compliments wise, good. So overall remark on this is, this is nothing new. This is nothing unique that you must have, nearly Portofino or something, but in somewhere in that group, right? Floral, uh, fruity, aquatic, watery, um, musky. Oh yeah, and the dry down, I also get a lot of musk. Yeah, it does have the musk. So yes, if you like those sort of scents and you don't want to break your budget or anything, and performance is not the only thing you look for, you look for those feel, casual summer day, look into this. Really love this fragrance. And I believe for the starters, the younger kids will like this. But if you're looking for a performer, absolutely go with the red one. This one performance is much better, all right? So overall remark, how much I'm gonna give this? I'm gonna give this seven out of 10 considering everything if not for the performance i would give this much higher mark right so seven out of ten for yatman blue if you haven't tried tried it if you have seen it somewhere just go and give it a try you might end up liking it if you live in a summer country all right so thank you guys for watching thank you for all the support i'll talk about the king aventus and few other fragrances very very soon after a little bit more testing i will do hopefully do justice to them. Take care guys, have a very nice day and uh, stay hydrated because it's very, very hot. Keep drinking fluids like water, less alcohol, less coffee, whatever you're taking is gonna make you dehydrated, right? Take care guys, talk to you soon, bye-bye.